and live. Yeah, because that's part. Yeah, I'm glad you said the image. Hi, guys. Hey. <laughs> Good morning. All right. Welcome to Overtime. We got Mike Reynolds for the first time. It was so cool to be with you and hang with you on the air. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Thank you. Yeah. So make sure, make sure, as always, that you share us so that you can spread the word. Make sure you like us and love and like right over here. Love and like because that helps mm -hmm. with the Facebook algorithms and all that. It helps. Um, well, and invite your friends too. Yeah. I mean, we're family here. Hello. So. Yeah, so we're going to, the topic we're going to discuss today is we're going to go back to what should we invest in? Should we invest in experiences or things? Mm -hmm. And the article that we shared this morning was saying that science actually says that what adds and enriches you in terms of your happiness and joy is more experiences than things. I loved what Mike highlighted that it all depends on the person. Some people's yeah. gifts, uh, love languages is different. Mm -hmm. And then we have some comments that was shared on the article from you mm -hmm. this morning. Mm -hmm. And um, I love Angela Paterni, I'm so sorry about the passing of mm -hmm. your son, but I loved your comment. She says, after my son passed away, my two girls were making photo boards for the wake. I walked in and as they were going through the photos of faraway trips to Colorado, Italy, and closer ones to Cedar Point and Niagara, and they said, Mom, we did a lot of cool things growing mm -hmm. up. Thank you. Uh, Experiences yeah. are memory makers. Absolutely. It's true. Yeah. Do you guys have, a, like, when you look back to your childhood, mm -hmm. what do you remember most? Well, I mean, I grew up in Valparaiso, Indiana, which is northwest Indiana, like right underneath Lake Michigan. One of my best memories is we're 15 minutes from the dunes, which is right on the lake. And my parents would always take us to go on hikes, to just walk. Well, we call it a beach. I know it's not a beach, but mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, like, it's just a lake. Yeah. But it was always, it wasn't some really big extravagant trip it was just going and enjoying with each other and we have so many memories on different trails and I think even um, now I'm building those memories with friends like we just went on a cabin trip to Hawking Hills and we loved it Hawking Hills is amazing and it was all yeah and it was just like a weekend but you can build those memories and that's what counts it yeah. doesn't have to be super fancy yeah so. what about yeah. you do you have favorite memories from growing up that well, you know, I was, I was kind of thinking about the, the things versus experience. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes when you buy a thing, mm -hmm. it comes with an experience or it makes an experience. Yeah. Yes. It doesn't necessarily have to be something expensive, but perhaps uh, the motivation behind it. Uh, mm -hmm. What I'm thinking of specifically is my first CD player was in a boombox. So yes. uh, I love music and I've been asking for a CD player. And uh, it was a pretty expensive thing back when they first came out. What? And uh, so my father bought me a, a CD player boombox, which I wasn't expecting, mm. but he bought it because I had had uh, surgery and he just wanted to show it. That, that was his love language was, yeah. was gifts. So he wanted to show me that he loved me and appreciated me and that I'd have something to do while I was recuperating yeah. from the surgery. Yeah. So I knew that that thing well, it, it wasn't the, you know terribly expensive. Uh, it just was a little bit more expensive than he would have spent normally. Right. And I knew it was mm -hmm. because he wanted to give me the experience of having that and my experience knowing that he went above and beyond right. mm -hmm. made that thing an experience. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Uh, you, you, we would take trips and some of them were fun. You know, if you're going to some place where mm -hmm. it was a historical marker and you're 12, that's not it's something you remember, but it's yeah. not something yeah. you remember fondly. Yeah, yeah. But we would take uh, a vacation every once in a while to Florida. We did two of them growing up, and those I remember just as tremendous things. Yeah. I have no idea what I got for my birthday, <laughs> yeah. no idea what yeah. I got for Christmas, but I remember those trips very, yeah. very well. Hi, Tamar. Hi, Jennifer. Hi. What's up? You always log in. Make sure to <laughs> share us. Hi, um... Mimi and uh, Mike always logs in. So what do you think? Should we invest in experiences or 
things. Tamar says, experiences have helped me to build character so that when I get things, I know how to properly steward them, if that makes sense. Mm. Yeah. So what do you think? What do you what what do you think we should invest in experiences or things? Mm-hmm. I love what you said about things creating memories. A couple mm-hmm. of our listeners texted in this morning and said instead of taking a family trip that year or in, in those yeah. f- two years, they built a family pool. Right. Mm-hmm. And that created memories for years. Yeah. Well, and I think, too, there was one vacation in particular. When you're younger, you don't recognize when your parents are actually trying to save. You just think you're on a yeah. trip, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And so we drove all the way to Maine, but for the first part of the trip, we camped. We oh. did not, we stayed in a tent to save money, which, of course, when you're a kid, you're like, oh, the outdoors, like, yay, we're in a tent. And we had so many memories with just staying in a tent and right. saving money. Oh, yeah. Which I didn't even recognize until I was older that, oh, like my parents were trying to save money yeah. but still go on vacation, yeah. you know? Yeah. But I remember that there was a crazy storm and like our tent almost like blew away. Oh. <laughs> but it's, those are still great memories, but it didn't cost as much as like staying in a hotel that year. Right. You know. Right. You were thinking things. of it as fun. Yeah, I was and they like, were well, thinking of it as a saving money. Right? Yeah. Like, which, when you're like six or seven, you have no idea that that's <laughs> right. Why your parents are staying in a tent? Yeah. <laughs> that is so true. Um, that's cool. How about you, Janelle? Do you have like a family vacation or? We would always go. One? I grew up in the East Coast, and we would always go to New Hampshire mm-hmm. as a family trip. Yeah. Great memories. And we, they would send us back to Dominican, my parents would send us back to Dominican Republic a lot, uh, which mm. was awesome. That's so Great harsh. memories there, too. From New Hampshire, though, the, me, the thing that, there's a lot of memories that make us laugh now. One of them mm-hmm. is that my parents would never reserve ahead of time. So we would always, like, go from hotel to hotel and stay in the car and look at my dad and be like, <laughs> do you think there's space here? Is he coming back? <laughs> That's so, great, though. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it's funny, and it kind of helps mm-hmm. uh, remove the pressure. Yeah. Because as a parent, sometimes the situations that like that, mm-hmm. you're like, oh, I messed up. But then for us, it's mm-hmm. like it was like a funny memory. I remember right. looking and like you would try to read his expression when he would walk back to the car. Like, mm-hmm. is it good news? Is there space for us? <laughs> there was actually one time that there was no space. There was a motorcycle conference or something. Mm-hmm. So we went three hours all the way to New Hampshire and then mm-hmm. had to drive back. There was no, obviously, no uh, Google, no internet. Oh, no. <laughs> Mike Gonzalez says, as the saying goes, someone on their deathbed never says, I wish I bought more stuff in my life. Yeah. Instead, they say, I wish I spent more time with those I love and the memories. Amen. Yeah. And we also have Carrie. She says, good morning from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Yeah. Hey, what's us. up? <laughs> How y'all doing? <laughs> yeah, let us know where you're logging in from. Hey, yeah. I love uh, Missy. Oh, guys, I have news. I have news. We just had our 5,000 oh. follower. Hey. Woo, woo, woo. So you know who you are. <laughs> what's up? You are number 5,000. Yeah, I would give you five thousand <laughs> high fives, but you know that would, that would take a long time. That would take a long time. <laughs> Your hand yeah. might hurt, you know. You yeah, make sure to share us time. and and yeah. um, I'm trying to look at the. There were some great comments yeah. from this morning. Sandy says we own a small boat and have raised our three sons on it during the summer. Wow. Oh, cool. I would love to have a That's boat. Cool. Oh my goodness. They would have to, like, pull me in from the lake and be like, Janelle, yeah. it's, like, not safe to stay out there. Yeah. <laughs> Tubing and water skiing in Lake Erie. We That's never fun. took vacations due to their summer sports schedules and the cost for a family of five to go anywhere too far to uh, to drive. We did a few trips to Myrtle Beach and day <coughs> trips. I regret not taking them to see the world, but I did what we could afford, and they all tell me it was awesome growing up. They're all in their 20s now. Kelly says, road trips, road trips. I love yes. to travel. We haven't done any, but I would love to take it's them so to see fun. different places. And we highlighted this morning that it's not about, it doesn't have to be the expensive mm-hmm. trips. Right. You know, there's so much to do right here in Northeast Ohio. I mentioned if you want to do amazing, just there's two that I can think of off the top of my head. Lolly Trolley is super awesome. Look them up. It's in Cleveland. It's and Lakeview Cemetery, but I love yeah. history. 
So somebody yeah, would think great. Lakeview Cemetery is boring. Yeah, you're thinking the cemetery, <laughs> boy, that sounds like fun, but it really yeah. is interesting because oh, there are yeah. some famous people buried there, and uh, it's a really nice mm-hmm. place. And despite the tombstones, it's a really nice yeah. place to look. Yeah, yeah. Uh, President Garfield is buried there, mm-hmm. and yeah. uh, Rockefeller is buried there. But when you do the tour, the stories, there's a guy cool. my husband mentioned that's buried there. Um, he was a Indians player, and he died during mm-hmm. the game. Oh, wow. And so when you go there, you see a lot of paraphernalia. or It's yeah. just uh-huh. interesting. And it's not yeah. like, I love history, but I love people. I love stories. So Lakeview Cemetery is super awesome. But we're talking about experiences, yeah. and they don't have to cost thousands. Laura, good morning. Hi. She's tuning in from Medina. So and cool. Deborah in East Lake. Good morning, Deborah. East Lake, right by the lake. Love Lake Erie. Mm-hmm. Thank you, thank you. Share us, like us, and thank you for the yeah. five thousandth person That's person so that cool. followed Brian and uh, yeah. on Facebook. Do you guys have memories or like parts of vacations that were a complete disaster, but they're great memories afterwards? I'm trying to think. Yeah, because. Like, there was a couple times on vacation with my family. We love hiking. And I remember we were hiking in Acadia National Park in Maine. And it was, it started out great, and then we're maybe halfway through, and it's just torrential rain. Oh. And it's just miserable because you're like, we went on this walk. We're wanting it to be fun. But now it's funny because we were drenched. When we got to the parking lot, there was a family completely dry, and they looked at us like, what did you guys do? And we're like, just wait till it rains. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, if you have stories like that, please share it with us. Yeah, We'd love because it's reason. true. The yeah. catastrophic and the negative does turn into it funny memories fun. if you give it time. <laughs> yeah. In the moment, they are not fun. <laughs> yeah, they're not funny. The closest one I can think of is that one where we went to New Hampshire. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine how frustrating that that was I can't. but <laughs> now it's like hilarious like oh my goodness what were we thinking yeah. we we didn't even call ahead yeah did you have a funny story from no i i can't think of anything i mean there's there's times where uh, a trip didn't turn out all that great or there was something that happened that wasn't all that great but it's not something you necessarily look back on and laugh or yeah, yeah. or think hor- or horrible things it was just like this happened yeah and that's yeah. it but you do experience in life, God brings situations into your life that mm-hmm. if you don't look at it as something that I'm looking forward to looking back at, oh, then yeah. it's yeah. going to really make life difficult for you. So that's what I say when I'm going through difficult times is I'm looking forward to looking back I on this. I know, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> and I think some memories for me too is like when my dad would take me to coffee. Like, oh. we would go to a local donut shop, and we get coffee and a donut, like, after church. And for me, that was a great experience. Oh, and my yeah. dad investing in me. Yeah. You know, so That's it can be cool. as simple as taking one of your kids out to get donuts or it's ice true. cream. Mm-hmm. And that it becomes so a memory. True. Yeah, my kids have great memories of going uh, bike riding as a family in the Metro Parks. Oh, oh cool. my goodness. There was one, and I know a lot of people locally do this, um... Oh, you'll remember what the name, it's a metro park where you go on your bike and either you can ride all the way like for hours yeah. and then jump on the train and ride yeah. back or the opposite. Mm-hmm. We did that with the kids. Oh, and that's cool. the thing, you know, think outside the box. You don't have to go to Europe to no. invest and, and create long lasting memories in your kids. They still talk about stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Or, you know, the drive-in movie. <clears throat> That's like a simple way. Yeah. You see shooting stars. There's like simple, inexpensive ways. Mm-hmm. And it's about what a lot of you have said, investing in relationship and time. And I love what Mike said. It's not, a, it's not either or. Some people, if you want your flat screen or you want the things, that's fine. Right. But making sure that there's a balance. Thank you for tuning in Thanks. for uh, uh, overtime. Brian's not <laughs> overtime. Make sure to come tomorrow. Yeah, join us. Thanks. All right. I'm ready for.